Welcome to the Ottawa Hospital. Treating pain is an important part of the recovery process after your upcoming surgery. One of the options for pain control involves the use of specialized nerve blocks. This video will explain what to expect if you have a paravertebral nerve block. A paravertebral block is used to provide pain relief during and after surgery. Local anesthetic, or freezing medication, is injected into your back on the side of the surgery near the spine in an area called the paravertebral space. This numbs the area where surgery will be performed. This procedure is helpful for many types of surgeries. At the Ottawa Hospital, it is most commonly used for patients having breast or lung surgery. The paravertebral block is usually followed by a general anesthetic to put you to sleep for the surgery. About an hour before surgery, you will be taken to a special area where the procedure is performed. Here you will meet the team of anesthesiologists and their assistants. They will explain the procedure and answer any questions that you may have about the block. If you have any concerns, please feel free to ask for more information. The decision to proceed with a paravertebral block will be made at this time. Standard monitors such as a blood pressure cuff, heart rate monitor, and oxygen monitors are used. An intravenous, or IV, will be started, which will allow the anesthesiologist to give you medications if you need them. You will be seated on the edge of the bed. Your back will be uncovered and wiped with an antiseptic solution to reduce the chance of infection. The anesthesiologist will identify and mark the correct area. A small needle will be used to freeze the skin, followed by the injection into the paravertebral space. This process is repeated in a few different areas in order to cover the entire area of surgery. The procedure takes approximately 15 to 20 minutes, and then you will be taken to the operating room for your surgery. You may receive some medication to help you relax. Most people tolerate the procedure very well. You may feel a pinch or burning sensation when the freezing medication is injected. You may feel discomfort or pins and needles during the block. If this happens, try to remain still and tell your anesthesiologist exactly what you are feeling. It takes more than 20 minutes for the freezing to take full effect. The paravertebral block is an excellent method for providing pain relief during and after surgery. It is relatively easy to do and freezes only the area where surgery is performed. Your pain should be significantly decreased when you wake up from surgery. This means that you should be able to move around more easily and resume your daily activities more quickly. It also means that you are likely to need less pain medication, which lowers the risk of side effects like sedation, confusion, nausea, vomiting, constipation, and itchiness. Paravertebral blocks have also been shown to lower the risk of developing chronic pain after surgery. People vary in how they interpret words and numbers. The following scale will give you an idea of the risks involved with this procedure. For example, a risk is considered very common if it happens to 1 in 10 people, or for example, to someone in your family. On the other hand, a risk is considered very rare if it happens to 1 in 100,000 people, or for example, to someone in a city. There is a 5% risk of any complication with the paravertebral block. There is a chance that the block does not work well or at all, or that it causes a decreased blood pressure. Occasionally, the paravertebral block results in lung collapse. It is uncommon for an infection to happen at the site of the procedure. Rarely, freezing medication can be injected too close to the spinal cord, the block can result in a permanent nerve injury, or an overdose of the freezing medication can result in seizures or even death. Someone from the acute pain service will see you after surgery to make sure your pain is well controlled. The acute pain service is also available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for any concerns about your pain management. The freezing medication lasts for approximately 12 to 24 hours. Be sure to fill the pain medication prescription ordered by your surgeon. As the freezing medication wears off, you will slowly become more aware of pain. It will be important to start taking pain medications by mouth as soon as this happens before the block has worn off completely. If the block is still working during the evening, we often recommend taking a dose of pain medication before you go to sleep. Please feel free to watch this video again and to ask any questions you have during your appointment in the preoperative assessment unit. Thank you for watching.